So, continuing from where we left off, we had just made this character. In this part, we are going to give him some color, add some materials, add a light, and background color. So, in the project window, first we will right click, create a new folder, and call that materials. Right click the materials folder, create material, call this player skin, and in the inspector window, while well, player, player skin is selected, we can choose what kind of shader it is. I'll just leave mine as a diffuse and its main color. I'll click that and it brings up brings up the color wheel where you can choose choose what color that you want it to be. So my guy's gonna have blue skin I guess. And now in the player hierarchy, while the belly is selected, he has a default diffuse on him, but we can drag the player's skin onto the inspector while he's selected and replace that. Or a faster way is you can drag it straight onto things, right in the scene view. So my guy is just going to be all naked. And I'll right click materials, create another material, call this player eye. I'm just going to leave it white and drag it onto the whites of his eyes. I'm going to create another material, player pupil, make that black. Drag that onto his pupils. And there we go, he's got some colors. Let's make another material, call it ground. I'm gonna make mine like grass. Drag that onto the ground. The main camera has the option to choose what the background is rendered as. So you can click on that. Just So while the main camera is selected, right here, and that changes the background in the game view. You can see? It's very dark, so we'll right click in the hierarchy and add a light. So light, directional light, and there we go, he's lit. You can, just like any other object, you can rotate the light around, change the lighting. You could do this with code to make like a day-night cycle or something. There is the intensity, so you can make it dark or light. You can change the color of the light, so everything's tinted like in a nightclub or something cool like that. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to rotate my light, I think, so that the ground has some light on it. You can also tell the light that you would like to have shadows. Now he's got a shadow behind him. And that's the end of this part. Oh yeah, so go file, save scene. Don't forget to save your scene. And that's the end of this part.